Max Bear, the husky American boxer, is on the road again. And when he's not on the road, he's in the gym, preparing for his fight with Tommy Farr at the Haringey Stadium. Take that! It's ex-world's heavyweight champion, Maxie Bayer, working out in Jersey. Max believes he'll sell Tommy Farr like this. <laughs> Aiming for the title, the former playboy heads up the comeback trail and goes to work in earnest. Getting into shape is Maxie's problem, and the old weight just rolls off. The comeback trail's a long one, but good luck, Max, and we're keeping our fingers crossed just in case. First ex-champion Max Bear says howdy to a vast hall half-packed with Welsh miners. They're such nice boys. For Max is to meet the winner of tonight's match between British and Empire champion Ben Ford and ex-pit boy Tommy Farr with the stripes down his shorts. So there's a great deal in the balance. Farr has been through over 200 fights, so you wouldn't think he'd suffer from nerves. But in the first few rounds, he's not so sure. He's heard about those great heavy swings of Ford's, and he doesn't quite know what to do about them. But soon he makes the surprising discovery that it is possible to see the swings coming in time to dodge. And if you don't feel like dodging, clinch. Farr dances round the ring, and whenever Ford swipes, he swipes the vacuum. And in between the swings and the clinches, it's Farr who scores with his left while Max scores with his autograph. By the fourth round, the man who's working hardest is referee Jack Hart. Then in round five, Power gets in a series of left-right lefts and the blood begins to trickle from Ford's nose. In the next round, and the next, it's Farr who's piling up the points, ducking and dodging, waiting his chance, warily aiming his punches at Ford's head and mostly aiming them well. And those Welsh miners are beginning to think the journey was worth it. During round seven, it's mostly love me, love me not. But at the start of the eighth round, look out for the fireworks, he's down. <laughs> round 11, and Ford's up against the ropes, his mouth open, his breath coming in short gasps. It looks like the end. But in the last three rounds, the fight flares up again into the most amazing show of pluck on the part of Ford. Then the last round. And the scales are swinging still. Two gasping boxers forcing the last ounce. Ford too tired to swing, Fard too tired to duck. They're leaning up against each other, and it's over. The Empire has a new champion, and Max Bear has a worthy opponent in Tommy Farr of Wales. The eagerly awaited clash between Max Bear and Tommy Farr draws a huge crowd to the Haringey Arena. Immediately after the gong goes for the first round, Farr in striped pants wades in, without being in the least overawed by the fact that he's fighting a former champion of the world. As in the fight with Ben Ford, it's a straight stabbing left that puts Bear at once on the defensive. And though in the malls, Bear manages to get in some telling uppercuts, Farr is not in the least perturbed. Early on in the fight, a cut over Bear's eye causes him some inconvenience, but the performance he puts up is not what we expected. Farr continues to dominate the fight with a pugnacious left, and Max is apparently having a little trouble, not only with his opponent, but with his shorts, which refuse to stay put. Bear is obviously puzzled at Farr's tactics. The Welshman bobs and ducks all over the ring, and even when Bear does score at close quarters, his punches have none of their old venom. Gone, too, is the air of gay abandon with which he entered the ring. Farr is reaching Bear's nose with ease, and one perk sends the American's head back with a real snap. The contest continues with Farr very aggressive, the Welshman's dancing around on his toes, and the American flat-footed and not nearly so agile. A curious incident occurred at the end of the ninth round. 
Owing to the cheering of the crowd, neither of the men hear the gong, and they continue fighting until separated by Mr. Douglas, the referee. Bear's left does not carry a punch. He seems to be using it with a sort of range finder. And when he does bring over a right, Tommy just isn't there. Ex-heavyweight champion Max Bear may have beaten Tommy Farr, but as you can see, it took some doing. And now they say he's heading for a comeback. Say, Maxie, did Farr's punches hurt? Hurt me? It just looked like I ran into a ring post? Certainly it hurt. Max, uh, they're saying that you had champion Baby Bear in your corner. You bet I had an incentive to fight for. A little boy of mine, you know. Sixteen pounds, two ounces, three months old. It's worth fighting 